Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd. Continuing on in our dars and base of fiqh, we reached another hadith about haith, about the hukum of menstru menstruating women and some of the ahkam pertinent to that state. And this hadith here clarifies for us the hukum of the hay, the woman who's menstruating, uh, reading the Qur'an. You know, what is the hukum regarding reading the Qur'an for the hay? And this hadith uh, is the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and most of these hadith pertinent to hay coming from Ummu Mu'mineen Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. And Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha qala it, كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يتقيو في هجري ونهايد فيقرأ القرآن رواه بخاري ومسلم. In this hadith of Aisha رضي الله تعالى عنها, she said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم was sitting in her room while she was menstruating, and he would read the Quran. And this is collected in Bukhari and Muslim. Some of the Ahkam or things we gain from this hadith, Shaykh Ali Basam rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentions the first thing he says, Jawaz Qira'at al Quran fi hijr al Haith li annaha tahir bedin wa thiyab. So, Shaykh Ali Basam rahimahullah ta'ala, may Allah bless him with Jannah to Firdaus and forgive him for his sins, Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen and the Muslimin in general. He said, that this hadith illustrates some of the things we gain from this hadith is it shows us the permissibility of reading in the Quran of the room of a woman while she's menstruating in the same room because she is pure in her in her body and she's pure in her clothing so in the hadith it has to do with the state of you know the blood that's coming out but she is not nudges herself and so in Islam the, all those relations, and as we mentioned, that a man, the husband and the wife, they can have relations except for the husband cannot enter the woman while she's menstruating. Uh, another benefit from this hadith, or thing that we gain, the Sheikh mentioned, he said, Tahreem Kira'at al Quran al Haith. He mentioned, Akhdin min tawahim imtina al Kira'a fi hijr al Haith. Qala ibn Taqiq al-Eid So ibn Taqiq al-Eid Rahimahullah ta'ala Also a great alim Alim al-Sunnah In fiqh In hadith He mentioned one of the benefits And this is what Sheikh Ali Basam is on the same goal Rahimahumullah jami'an He mentioned that This hadith illustrates for us The impermissibility Of the woman menstruating reading the Qur'an and that this is taken from the uh, the fact that in this hadith it shows you know that the Prophet ﷺ was reading and that Aisha was not reading and th so they're looking at the, the reason behind believing saying that it is uh, deducing from this hadith that due to the fact that the Prophet ﷺ was reading the Qur'an and Aisha wasn't Showing that it was impermissible, impermissible for her as a menstruating woman, and that's why she wasn't reading the Quran. The Prophet ﷺ was reading to her, and he said to her, "And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala knows best." So that is uh, the goal of the Jamhur. That's the majority of the ulama have that uh, that view that it is impermissible for the menstruating woman to read the Quran and to hold the mushaf as well. Some of the ulama say, no, that is not uh, very uh, strong evidence or it's not very clear evidence showing the impermissibility of the haith reading that. And he said, and, and some, they, they have the view, they say that it's permissible for the woman to read, uh, a woman who's menstruating to read the Quran uh, without, uh, without holding the Quran. You know, so she could have it from a distance and be reading it, reciting it, and so forth. And 
a lot of mental talent knows best. I tend to go with that view that if it's a necessity as well, she's a fearful of forgetting it. And this is what some of the ulama that we studied with, they hold this view as well, that as long if she is if it's a necessity, you know, she's a Quran teacher or whatever, she's fearful of forgetting some of the Quran, that she can use, you know, either gloves or some sort of towel or something and or read, you know, have the Quran in uh, you know, on a stand and and read from the Mus'haf in that respect so as so as not to forget the Quran. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.